there's no point referring to this as an LSWR 0415 class, because Joe Public will always call it the Adams Radial Tank. Why so called? Well, it's a tank engine, obviously, designed by a guy called Adams, see, get it, which incorporates the swivelling radial technology in the axle under the cab. This slightly complicated piece of technology allows the locomotive to be more flexible than any of its counterparts, including the Drummond M7s which replaced them. Of the 71 Adams radials built in the 1880s, three were still running by the Second World War. Two of them were working a branch line to Lyme Regis in Devon, and this one, ex-Ministry of Munitions, was working an old Colonel Stevens line in northeast Kent. The Lyme Regis locomotives were both in poor condition by this point, so the Southern repurchased number 488 as emergency cover. Why did such an engine befit such a route? Because it had gradients of 1 in 40, it had an unstable viaduct and curvature that was sharp enough to twist an engine's frames. So with minor modifications, this design was perfect. The trio of radial tanks kept going until 1961, when the track was then modified to allow the Ivert Mickey Mouse tanks to run on it without problems. By this point, the Bluebell Railway was on the lookout for vintage southern locomotives. Number 488 was chosen because she was in the most original condition, and she helped establish the Bluebell in fine style. Until in 1990, the most vital of those original parts, the boiler, finally gave up the ghost. Even if she's static, there's something about this engine that keeps drawing the crowds. In essence, her condition may be heavily debated, but her fame? That's inimitable. Mm -hmm.